A power struggle between Jonesboro's mayor and the city council that's been brewing for more than a year has now come to a head. Uh, tensions exploded during a heated argument in a public meeting, which was captured by the city's cameras. On one side, council members trying to rein in who they say is an out-of-control chief executive. On the other, a mayor accusing her colleagues of racism. Fox 5 High Team reporter Johnny Edwards has kept up with Jonesboro since reporting on unfair speeding tickets. Johnny is here now, uh, and we understand there's footage of that city council a blowout, which kind of paints the picture of what's been going on there. Well, Russ and Courtney, on the surface, it was a fight over who runs meetings. But the real issue is who runs the city. It started with talk of reforming the Ethics Committee, something council members want to check the powers of the mayor. In the video, council members accuse the mayor of bullying. She calls them racist and cowards. It's very On the night before last week's presidential election, this happened in Jonesboro. And so you can learn to quit bullying, counsel. I'm not bullying. I'm not bullying. Y'all can stop being so racist. Maybe I would have to. Yeah, you're right, here we go. Let's expose what you all said behind closed doors. Little cowards. A verbal melee and a near meltdown in a public meeting. Uh, you know what? You, I have not tied your hands. I have executed what the charter says I'm entitled to, and that pisses you all off. Can I do a better job um, at remaining calm during council meeting? Um, I'm a work in progress in that. So what's behind all this? Over a year of infighting between Mayor Donya Sarter and the majority of council. I think it is um, one person wanting things one way and pushing and then other people wanting things their way. So I think it's more of a power struggle than anything. I'm just simply exercising the powers that the charter bestows upon me by virtue of me holding this position. And I think some council members are struggling with that. To review, in September 2023, the council voted to hire an outside attorney to investigate allegations against the mayor. The final report accused her of, among other things, pointing a gun at a police lieutenant in her office. Mayor Sarter still won re-election. A GBI probe found no evidence of criminal wrongdoing, and the Clayton County DA declined to prosecute. Is it true that you pointed a gun at a lieutenant? No, it's not true, and the GBI um, felt that it was not true as well. The mayor would fire the police chief and two other officers involved in that investigation. Now, council members accuse her of ruling by fear causing the city to lose its directors of public works, finance, IT, and the city clerk. She yelled, she screamed, she cussed that employee, and all this stuff, and we can't stop it. You're right, because the charter does not allow you all to stop it. Not, no, I have not weaponized any, because if sue me for anything I've done that's not applicable to me. That's what y'all are pissed about. I can tell you, though, and the record would show, a number of our employees have left because they went for better paying jobs. Some council members even went to Clayton County's legislative delegation recently, asking to change the city charter so day-to-day -day operations would be run by the city manager, not the mayor. The request went nowhere. And this strong mayor system had been in place for I don't know how many years. Now, I get in this position as an African-American. American woman and all of a sudden you're trying to change my particular powers. Which brings us to last week and the council's push for an ethics committee. The three-member panel, two appointed by council and one appointed by the mayor, could investigate complaints against employees, board members, and elected officials. Taking findings to the mayor and council, which could reprimand, censure, withhold pay, request resignation, or seek removal from office. I think it would be a very good tool to keep us all in check, to make sure we're all moving in the right direction for the right reason. The ruckus began with talk about selecting appointees and the mayor admonishing Messick to only speak when called on. And Mayor Pro Tem, for the record, if you speak again when I have not acknowledged you, you will not speak for the rest of the session. Mayor. Nope. The Mayor Pro Tem walking out. Just let her leave. Just let her leave. You don't have to. Now, the city council meeting Monday was far more amicable when a councilwoman accused her peers of selecting ethics committee members in secret. They postponed the vote until they could all reach a consensus. I'm told the ethics committee of forms could only investigate complaints about acts going forward. It could not go back in time and look into any prior allegations. Russ, Courtney? Well, it seems fair to say that that kind of public behavior seems unusual at a mm -hmm. city council between the council and the mayor. Do, do most cities have ethics committees or is this something that's targeted 
particularly at her, do you think? No, most city and county governments that I've covered do have them. In fact, Jonesboro used to have one, I'm told, but it mm. sort of faded away because it didn't have enough work to do. Uh, interestingly, Mayor Sarger says she's in favor of having an ethics committee. She just doesn't want it to be a vehicle for putting a magnifying glass on her. Well, clearly there's some issues that need to be ironed out there as evidenced in that video. Right. I think most council members would say they need to put a magnifying glass on the mm -hmm. executive branch of their government. Yeah, I'm sure you'll follow up on this. Absolutely. All right, Johnny, thanks. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you.